Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Phantom Combat plugin. So this is a really cool plugin which enhances your combat experience in your Minecraft server. So let's go ahead and get started by doing forward slash Phantom Combat. That's going to show us all of the commands, and there's some really cool features in this plugin. So the first one is forward slash PVP toggle, and then either on or off. And what that's going to do is turn your PVP combat status either on or off for yourself or another player. So that is a nice command to have. And then if we go ahead and do four slash stats, that's going to show us uh, various stats to do with kills, death, kill death ratio, kill streak, and highest kill streak, which is pretty awesome. Once we've done that, we can do four slash death coord, and this is going to show the coordinates of the last place we died in the world, which is pretty useful if you want to get your loot back or get revenge. So then we can do four slash grace period, four start, and then someone else's name. So make sure you get it the right way around. So for start and then, for example, my name. And the grace period is 300 seconds long. You can obviously change this in the config file. When you're in the grace period, you can't be attacked or attack someone else. Um, otherwise, it will get rid of your grace period. So if I go ahead and hit my other account, you can see that we are in combat mode. So we're in combat mode for 15 seconds. You can see the bar at the top. And then above the bar at the bottom, we got some information about who we're in combat with. And we mustn't leave within that 15 second time frame or we will lose all of our loot. So make sure you're aware of that. And then once the time has elapsed, we are safe to log out and there is a message at the bottom of the screen that pops up. So now that my other account's grace period is up, we can go ahead and actually damage him. So if I give him a few whacks and then wait for his time to tick down a few seconds, we can go ahead and log him out and then because he hasn't waited 15 seconds he's going to lose all of his stuff and you can see that message in chat he left while in combat mode and was killed so just be aware of that um, I think it's a really cool way of stopping people from just combat logging so that's pretty much everything in game uh, what we're going to do now is check out the config file and see what we can do in there so here we are in the SM picnic control panel and as you can see there are three different files up at the top we've got the data file, then we have the messages.yml, so in here we're going to have all the different messages that we will see in chat. You could change the format codes if you wanted to, but it looks pretty nice as is, so I wouldn't recommend it. And finally we've got the settings.yml, so this is where you're going to change the majority of things for the plugin. So up at the top we've got the combat mode, so this stops people from logging out mid PvP fight and it causes them to die and lose all of their stuff. So you can enable that and then you can choose which worlds and game modes you want it to be enabled for. And then you can choose the causes for combat mode to be enabled. So whether you're attacked by a player, an entity or just generic damage such as full damage or being hit by a cactus. And then we have the amount of time before combat mode expires and a player can safely log out the server. Then we have the effects uh, when a user leaves while in combat mode. So first of all it's going to kill them, then there will be a lightning strike and it could also broadcast a location if you wanted to. So then we have a couple of sounds, so when combat starts and finished you've got these two sounds and you can probably change the sound of the volume and the pitch. Do you want to block flight and teleporting when in combat? And then do we want to block certain items during combat? So the use of chorus fruit and ender pearls are not enabled during combat. Then we have commands which will be blocked during combat. So anything that allows you to teleport away or go back to spawn will be disabled in combat mode, which is really awesome. Do we want death coordinates to be enabled? Yes or no. Do we want blood to be enabled? So you can change which worlds and which types of entities or players have bleeding and then we also have the different causations of bleeding as well so if you have some full damage if you start drowning if you start being set on fire etc you can start bleeding for some of these or all of them and we have the armor hit sound as well you can obviously change that we have the grace period so the grace period is 300 seconds and you can obviously change that and communication do you want grace period messages to be communicated via action bar or chat or both and then we've got some pvp settings so do you want the 1.9 hit delay to be removed and do you want people to be able to toggle on pvp via command which we saw yes or no so that is pretty much everything in the plugin it's a really neat plugin that improves combat in your minecraft server 
If you want to download it, come over to the Spigot page. It's a pretty new plugin, came out this year, uh, last month in fact, and it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft. You can see lots of cool information on the Spigot page, and if you have any problems with it, make sure you contact the developer. So that is everything in the plugin. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next.